Yesterday on my other channel, my Insurrectionist channel, I went into some detail about the transfer of wealth that has taken place over the last 18 months um, over the course of this artificially created astroturfed bogus bullshit crisis. Um, and and I, I said, you know, when, when questions are asked, like, what's, what's the... Uh, what is the purpose of all of this? What are they aiming at? What, what, uh, what, uh, you know, if this is, if this isn't, isn't just something that's a naturally occurring event, then who is doing it and why are they doing it? Well, <clears throat> there's one answer for you. The massive transfer of wealth from the working class and from the middle class, uh, from people like, uh, you know, people who live hand to mouth, you know, who work as, uh, factory workers or, or, uh, I know bartenders or cashiers, um, you know, all the, all of, or so much of their wealth is going, is being redistributed up, right? You know, in the Marxian notion of things, the, the redistribution of wealth was supposed to go down. It was supposed to go towards the working class, but no, that's not the way it's working. Um, that's not the way it's been happening. You know, the rich, it's, it's a cliche, but it's very, very true, especially over the last 18 months, the rich get richer and uh, the rest of us get poorer. Um, so I wanted to uh, comment a little bit on or add a little bit to what I had to say in that video. And, and uh, by the way, I will give you the link to that video. Um, and uh, if you're not already uh, a subscriber to my other site, The Insurrectionist, please consider uh, doing so if you're interested. Um, but on this channel, I wanted to talk about, uh, uh, a series of videos that I've seen recently that I found, uh, both painful and strangely entertaining. Uh, um, these are videos recorded by a New Yorker by the name of Lewis Rossman. Maybe some of you already know him. Uh, he's, he's quite a character. He's a funny guy. Uh, uh, runs a, uh, I don't know, like a electronic, uh, uh, repair shop, I think in Brooklyn. And, uh, he's very outspoken. He was very much on board with the whole, uh, uh, you know, buy, uh, buying up of stocks and, uh, uh, defeating the, the, the hedge funds, hedge fund giants and buying stock in GameStop and, and AMC and all of that. He was, he was very, uh, he was talking all that up a few months ago, and I think that's how I first discovered him. Well, in the last few days, uh, Lewis Rossman has gone around uh, New York City, uh, Manhattan, you know, Manhattan Island, the heart of New York, the heart of the, you know, the, the, uh, the center, the, the, where, where all of the glitz and glamour uh, is, you know, supposedly located. Um, you know, where they perform all the Broadway plays and, and all of that. And of course they've been hit really hard over the last year and a half or so. And, uh, you know, they've been stuck with this schmuck of a mayor and this uber schmuck of a governor. Uh, that certainly hasn't helped matters. Um, but Rossman went out and, and, uh, I encourage you to watch these videos, um, because there's something strangely uh, cathartic about watching them. He went out just around, you know, the streets and the side streets, the up the numbered streets and some of the avenues. And, you know, I don't really know the geography of, of uh, New York that well, but I know he was on Manhattan Island or Manhattan. <laughs> we just call it Manhattan these days. And um, he was finding, uh, even he was shocked to find how many businesses were just closed down, how many two lease signs were up. And, uh, you know, he would go and say, oh, look, on, and we're on this block. And, oh, look, there's, there's, uh, there's another place uh, that's, uh, that's gone out of business. And, you know, he was expecting to, to see a bunch of them, but even he was shocked at how many of them there were. And, uh, it really, whatever you think of New York City, you know, whatever you, uh, whether you're anti-city slicker, I mean, I, I understand that, I get that, but still, it's very sad because these were, you know, th this is, we're talking about like the, the, uh, the small 
shop owner, you know, the, the salt of the earth kind of, kind of, uh, kind of people. They were the ones who ran and owned these stores. They worked hard, uh, you know, to, to, uh, get them afloat. And then this, this, uh, this damn artificial, uh, nonsense gets, gets promulgated and all of the, uh, politicians assume authority, authority that they do not properly have and force them all to close down uh, and, uh, you know, give them a pittance of stimulus money eventually, but it's not enough. And so these people just lose the place that you see in, in Rossman's videos, you see, um, like, uh, a store storefront after storefront after storefront and Rossman has a you know this kind of uh, um, wise acre kind of you know uh, one of the you know one of the one of the better qualities of the the New Yorker type you know the sort of uh, <laughs> kind of humorously cynical perspective on on the uh, on his city and what's going on and um, but and so, so he, 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 uh, he's talking about it all and, and he kind of, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, amused, but he's also uh, quite aware of how sad it all is. And, and he doesn't even, I don't think he even sees it from the perspective that I see it from, that I and others like me see it from, because, you know, it's one thing if this is just something that, that happened, right? If this is just one of those things, oh, well, you know, there was this, this bug, uh, and it wasn't really that deadly, but, but we still had to close everything down for reasons. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those things, which is how I think Rossman sees it. He's not a conspiracy theorist. Um, but if you see it the way I happen to see it <clears throat> and you understand that this is something that was planned and promulgated and it didn't have to happen. And if things were left to their own devices, these people wouldn't have become improv impoverished. These people wouldn't have lost their businesses. Uh, and again, you see store after store after store where this has been the case. Um, and, uh, you know, it should be more painful to watch, but somehow Rossman's whole narration and, uh, you know, his, his, uh, sort of dry, cynical wit, uh, makes it, makes it somehow enjoyable, uh, or cathartic even to, to, to see, but this didn't have to happen. And so, God, when I think about that, when you think about it in that way, that means that the people who are in charge of all this, who are behind all of this, really do have blood on their hands to the max. Because they have, who knows how many people they've driven to suicide? Who knows how many people they've driven to despair? Uh, you know, how many cancer patients have gone untreated because of this bogus crap that they've been, they've been hyping up over the last year and a half? Um, it's, it's, uh, to say that it's deplorable is, is uh, understating it, um, you know, by some margin. So how do I want to end this, this video? What do I, what do I want to say here? Um, I'll, I'll leave a link to the Lewis Rossman videos below. Or I'll just leave a link to his page, uh, and you can find those videos for yourself if you're interested. They do make for surprisingly compelling viewing. Um, you'd think it would just be kind of dull, just some guy taking his camera down the street and and uh, and commenting as he as he uh, you know shows uh, closed storefronts and and uh, you know to lease signs and and all, and so forth. But it's really very, very powerful. And when you, and when you start, I mean, maybe again, maybe you're not, maybe you're an anti-New Yorker kind of person. But how many places has this happened across the country? You know, maybe they haven't been hit as hard as New York was. But you know, how many people have lost their livelihood over this nonsense? How many people uh, have been thrown into turmoil and disarray and 
and despair, all because this uh, this group of so-called elites had to have their way, right? They had to push this push this thing. They had to push their agenda, um, and they didn't care who got hurt, and they didn't care who died, and they didn't care who went who went poor. Uh, in fact, if you look at it in the most cynical way, they probably uh, they probably uh, enjoy seeing these people get even what little of what they have get sucked up, you know, like a, like as if by a tractor beam and uh, placed into the coffers of, you know, the, the, the Bezoses and the Gateses and the, and the rest of the creeps um, who uh, claim the somehow the the uh, authority to to run the world's economy and to run, generally run the world. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just rage fuel, uh, but it also puts things. You know, and I, and I don't, I don't like to just indulge in you know something that just makes you angry. And there's there's no real release to for your anger, but it's very sobering. Let's look at it that way. It's extremely sobering, and uh, I suggest you. Uh, tune in and see for yourself and also watch my video from yesterday on uh, my other channel if you care to. My name is Andy Nowicki. You can check out my work at altrightnovelist.com and uh, also please check out my latest book, The Insurrectionist, which can be purchased from terrorhousepress.com and uh, also can be found on Amazon. Although why you want to give, give them any more of your hard-earned money, I'm not sure, but that's all up to you. And it, it's also there uh, available at Barnes and Ignoble's site and plenty of other places. Um, thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon.